Hi everyone, it's Andrew, the Urban Bayman. And I'm looking out over the Bay of Islands. I'm in the Humber Arm and I'm on the Ring Road. I'm, I went up to Captain Cook's Monument to get a picture, but uh, well, you know, we've been up there so many times and it's hard to get a really clear view and we weren't certain what was gonna happen with the light, so we came out here and as I set up trying to make a video, um, I really didn't have a, a plan here this evening, but when I got up here and I started to set up, I started to think about how many amazing photographers we have in Newfoundland. How fortunate we are to have so many great phot photographers. I mean, I shouldn't be surprised, right? And I count to the fact that why Newfoundlanders seem to excel in every single genre of the arts. And why would photography be any different? You know? Now, with the, look, the, 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 the advantage that we have in Newfoundland, of course, is that we have such great subject material. We are surrounded by so much beauty. And as a result, we're inclined to take out a camera. We're inclined to make it one of our focuses. We're inclined to make it a hobby. Some people are inclined to make it a, a profession. My point is, in this day and age, when everybody has a camera, and when I say they have a camera, I'm recording this on my phone. I mean, we all have a camera in our phone. My father will often say to me, take a picture of that, Andrew. And I'll say, Ted, you got a camera in your phone as well. Yeah, but your phone takes better pictures. It's not that my phone takes better pictures as much as the, the phone and using the camera and getting accustomed and familiar with the camera and the art, it trains your eye and it allows you to focus on the beauty. And as a result, and you know, guys, I'm always trying to teach a lesson, right? One of the things that I would really recommend, right, is that you try out your photography skills. You have no excuse. You have the equipment. You have the tool. Right? And there's so many wonderful advantages. Right? You know how I'm always trying to present Newfoundland in a better light. I want you to see Newfoundland as I see Newfoundland. Right? What the camera allows you to do is A, focus on beauty, but it also allows you to cut out anything that you don't want in your frame. And as a result, it gives you a really positive focus. Right? In the spring of the year, you'll often hear people talk about litter. They're talking about trash. Look, it's there, I know. Right? I mean, not, we're, we're, we're so fortunate that we have so much wind because it blows away, right? But the, the reality is, is that I don't really see it and I certainly don't focus on it because when I stop to take a picture, I'm not looking down at the trash. I'm looking into the background, right? Even here with this, the, this video, you may notice there's a guardrail right there underneath my shoulder, right? The door jam is in my shoulder. If I was taking a picture, I'd be outside the trunk. And I wouldn't be focusing on any of this. I'd eliminate all of that from my viewfinder and I would only be looking right there. It allows me that opportunity to focus on the beauty. It allows me to appreciate, right? It, no matter what is going on in my world, whether it's, God forbid, the litter, right? Whether, it, it doesn't make any difference what it is. That's what I'm focused on. That's what I'm seeing. And that's what I'm appreciating. I hope that this finds you well. I hope that it provides you with some inspiration and I hope that of course you see Newfoundland as I see Newfoundland through the eyes of a camera lens. Thanks for watching guys. I'm Andrew McCarthy. I'm the Urban Bayman. We are overlooking the beautiful Bay of Islands, Humber Arm from the city of Cornerbrook in Newfoundland and Labrador. Thanks for listening.